Hello, good morning. I'm Raul Nozal and I'm going to present NGNCL as a tool to easily squeeze the performance out of heterogeneous systems. The emergence of heterogeneous systems is one of the most important milestones in parallel computing in recent years, and most of the HPC systems use an increasing number of specific proposed hardware accelerators, such as uh, GPUs, FPGAs, CM5s, or TPUs. The main purpose of these uh, accelerators is its computing power and energy efficiency. The problem is that these architectures uh, also present a series of challenges, among which the complexity of its programming stands out. In this sense, OpenCL was developed as an API and a runtime that extends C R and C++ for the programming of these uh, heterogeneous systems. The problem with OpenCL is that it provides a low abstraction level that forces the programmer to know the system in detail. You have to manage uh, the host device communication, the distributed address space, um, the architecture of the heterogeneous devices, uh, to know really in detail the system, among other error-prone tasks. There were previous works in this direction trying to reduce the maintainability effort of OpenCL or other type of technologies related with the new systems, but uh, their, fo their focus on STL type of um, uh, interfaces and that usually uh, is still too low level. Our focus is um, to, to achieve higher level API to program this, uh, this uh, type of systems, but still performing uh, really good trying to reduce the overheads and trying to, to use a set of uh, schedulers uh, splitting the workload between the different devices. So our research contributions are uh, to present uh, in GNCL, the runtime that uh, simplifies the programming of initially data parallel applications, but then also iterative or multi-kernel applications for heterogeneous systems. Uh, it has a three-tier uh, runtime architecture exposing different API layers uh, for abstraction and, and providing also high flexibility to adapt new OpenCL features, such as, for example, uh, image transformations. Uh, the optimized multi-threaded architecture is profiled in a variety of OpenCL drivers, uh, vendors, and operative systems and also devices. That means that we have uh, validated and profiled for NVIDIA, Intel, AMD, ARM, but also Linux, and one of the latest works also for Windows, that it works uh, flawlessly, uh, and a different set of architectures from CPUs, uh, GPUs, integrated GPUs, Xeon files, and one of the most important works also for FPGAs, with, uh, along with the work of uh, another universities and their researchers integrating uh, FPGAs uh, with the with NGNCL. NGNCL ensures performance portability fully exploiting heterogeneous machines, easily using load balancing algorithms and custom schedulers. So we can provide easily new type of uh, algorithms to split the workload. Uh, one of the most important parts of this work is that we have performed an exhaustive experimental validations, both, both in usability but also in the performance of the runtime, and we achieve excellent behavior in both metrics. Here we can see, let's go a bit uh, near, yeah. in GNCL, is an uh, OpenCL-based C++ runtime API that significantly improves the usability of the heterogeneous system without any loss of performance. It got complex, uh, complex operations transparently for the programming, such as the discovery, uh, the selection of these devices, uh, the data management between them, that uh, also the load balancing and robustness through the set of efficient techniques. In this example, this is scheme, this is a, uh, a simplified view, uh, we can see that we have two main contexts. One is engine CL and the other is the application domain or the program. Uh, splitting these two concepts, we can um, work with the terminology of our program and then uh, connect or plug to the engine CL to achieve all the splitting of the workload and also uh, uh, the data management. What is this? Uh, we have the discovery, that means uh, we can see how many devices we can use, then we select the devices that we want, then we define the program that is the kernel, the function that we or functions that we want to run with its arguments, 
and the output pattern. That means the relation between the work items and the output data patterns of the buffers. That means one work item will write, for example, to three uh, output indices. Also, the scheduling uh, algorithm that, mm, that could be, for example, static, dynamic, or H guided, uh, H guided that we have provided by default, but we can provide new custom schedulers. Then we select the C++ uh, containers that is directly without modif modifying any type of um, data transformation. So in our host code, we can use directly C++ and the whole runtime will manage all the splitting and distribution between the different devices, the kernel execution based on our policy, and all these asynchronously writing to the output uh, containers uh, so the, um, that is transparent for the programmer. Uh, we have to say that the whole runtime is really optimized and asynchronous, uh, but outside we are providing a synchronous uh, API to ease the use of this uh, writing for the programmer. But advances, uh, advanced uh, developers can access the asynchronous uh, behavior and modify accordingly. Then uh, we have seen here that GNCL has a multi-thread architecture that provides high-level API, uh, efficiently managing all the resources of the underlying system. It follows architectural principles with well-known design patterns such as PACAD, proxy, or strategy, all these to strengthen the flexibility in the face of changes. We have three tires. The lower the tire, the more functionalities and advanced features can be manipulated. It is designed to be extended and support any new feature easily. The complexity comes directly from the optimization of the architecture, but all is split in different modules that we can modify. Here we can see, for example, the related with the scheduling, uh, scheduling aesthetic, dynamic, and edge guided. For example, in words that we have uh, um, spoke previously, such as the FPGA's integration with, FPGA, with NGNCL, we just modify a bit of these modules, three modules of this, and we also integrated a new scheduling uh, algorithm for the combination of CPU, co-execution with GPU, and FPGA. So that is quite easy compared with other runtimes. What is important here is that we have done a validation both in usability and in performance. Usability, we can see in the left uh, chart or graphic in this case, uh, that uh, this is a real scale. Every of these blocks is real lines of code to program a basic uh, uh, benchmark such as Gaussian. And in this, uh, we can see that for all these blocks, we have to repeat most of the code for each device that we want to use. We are using here, here a simple static offline uh, uh, algorithm, uh, scheduling algorithms, but for more complex algorithms, it would be much worse for OpenCL. And on the other side, we can see NGNCL has just a few of these lines, so it is really easy to manipulate. Uh, we read, wrote about uh, software engineering metrics and we selected eight metrics uh, to be objective between the usability, maintainability, and programmability effort. And we excel in NGNCL compared with OpenCL, as we can see here, the ratios. That is really good for the industry, for researchers that want to try new scheduling algorithms or trying to boost the program easily, but also for beginners with host device uh, programming um, languages, like such as in this case OpenCL. Uh, we have to say that uh, OpenCL is the core of this uh, runtime because uh, NGCL is a wrapper, but we can provide new technologies or different technologies like, for example, CUDA in the inner code, although it's not performant yet. Regarding the performance, we have two things. First, we select the worst case scenario for NGCL that is only a single device, not uh, scheduling at all, and we run a set of experiments and we select the worst case for every device and program. And we have seen here that the worst case in all the experiments that we run is just three, below 3% three uh, compared with OpenCL, but the average is 1.3%, the average of the worst cases, the worst scenarios. Okay, so this is something really important. We optimize highly the uh, runtime and the multi-threaded architecture. On the other side, if we want to excel, 
really we have to just compare with the fast, fastest device that is the GPU in two different uh, nodes with three different devices in each of them and we can see that when we are using a scheduling, the scheduling uh, that we are providing is so efficient and optimized that we always uh, have higher speed ups and uh, different uh, scheduling algorithms provide different type of performance. So this is really important because we can select uh, one of the default uh, load balancers, but we can provide custom load balancers or custom scheduling uh, with different kernels for our own purposes. Finally, we can conclude, let's go a bit, yep, here. Uh, we can conclude that uh, NGCL is a powerful OpenCL based tool that greatly simplifies the programming of applications for heterogeneous systems. This runtime frees the programmer from error prone tasks that require a specific knowledge of the underlying system architecture with a great impact on their productivity. It is designed and profiled to provide internal flexibility to support new features, high performance to avoid overheads compared with OpenCL, and a pluggable scheduling system to efficiently use all the available resources with the schedulers while providing a high level API. It has been validated compared with OpenCL in terms of usability and performance, achieving excellent usability metrics, co-execution efficiency up to 0 0.89, and average overhead of 1.3% in the worst case scenario. All this information can be extracted and or can be used uh, in the official repository in NGCL and the official papers that uh, have been uh, published. Thanks for listening, and if you have any question, please uh, let me know. You have here also my contact, and have a really good day.